Hi, my name is Yogesh Prabhu. This is a series on applied mathematics and we are discussing a chapter beta gamma functions. Now in the previous video, I already gave you some of the standard formulae and here are the standard formulae, the three most important formulae you have to remember. And now just to get a better understanding of the chapter, I have taken one question and, and we should be solving them. Now let us solve this question here. Well, the question is evaluate integral and integration is going from zero to infinity. I see this is x raised to half. Okay, and then e raised to some power. Well, now you have e raised to minus of cube root of x, which is not exactly falling into any form. But supposing if I have e raised to minus x, then I can very well call it a gamma function and solve this. Now for this question, what I can do is, first let me begin let me assume uh, this function, this integral as i. And when it comes to an integration, the integrals are always solved using substitution method. So we have to find out a suitable substitution. Okay. So what I will do here is, uh, can I substitute for cube root of x? Okay, let's try and do that. Here, uh, put say cube root of x is equal to t. Now let me simplify this. When I replace x by t, my entire integral will go from variable x to variable t. See how that is done. Let me cube it. So if I cube it, uh, this will become x is equal to t cube. And now let us differentiate. Now if I differentiate, I get dx is equal to 3t square dt. So now that's a replacement for dx that I found. And uh, also I have to change limits. The original limits of x, the original limits of x are from 0 to infinity, correct? So, yeah, so they, they will pretty much remain same. t will be 0 to infinity anyway. Just put values over here or here, okay? So, t limit of t are also 0 to infinity. I got all the replacements. So, now let me replace those values and see what I get as i. So, the integral i now will become integration limits will be of t. They will go from 0 to infinity. And uh, let's put x is equal to t cube so it is x is equal to t cube raised to half and then this is e raised to cube root of x the value of cube root of x is just t so e raised to minus t and dx becomes 3t square dt that's the value for dx now let us simplify this integral more i get i is equal to 3 is a constant taken outside t is equal to 0 to infinity and this is t raised, this is going to be 3 by 2. And then I can add 2 over here. So I took that 2 t square there. e raised to minus t dt. And you see, it is exactly the form that I want. I have integral 0 to infinity. Yes. I have e raised to minus the variable. And I have... Uh, variable raised to n minus 1. So now just to make it n minus 1, I'll simply add 1 and subtract 1 and let's club these. Now once I do that, the value of this integral i is going to be 3 stays outside. And this is nothing but gamma of this term, which is 2 plus 1 is 3. 2, 3 is a 6, 6 plus 3. 2 plus 1 is 3. It is a 6 plus 3 is 9. Is that gamma 9 by 2? Yes. Now once I get this as gamma 9 by 2, 9 by 2 is a value under gamma sign and this is a fraction, right? And how do we solve fraction of gamma? Uh, sorry, gamma of fraction, just keep 3 as it is. Now this 9 by 2 subtract 1, let me explain that procedure. This from 9 by 2 subtract 1, you get 7 by 2. Then from 7 by 2 subtract 1 again, you get 5 by 2. Keep doing that, 5 by 2 minus 1. 3 by 2, keep doing that, 3 by 2 minus 1 is 1 by 2. Now if you do that again, 1 by 2 minus 1 gets negative. And that's where you stop, right? And last, whatever value you have, you just repeat that. And that's gamma half. Well, now this is your answer. You just have to multiply these numbers and find out these values. Now, that's, that's the answer, just simplification, I leave it to you. But before we close, I just want to explain something about this gamma half, okay? See, there is something called as a duplication formula. Duplication 
formula and the formula is like this if you have gamma p gamma 1 minus p the value of this uh, thing is pi upon sine p pi with the condition that your p has to be between 0 and 1. You need to remember the formula. The formula is called as duplication formula. It says if you have gamma p and gamma 1 minus p is equal to pi upon sine p pi as far as your p is ranging between 0 and 1. Now let me take one example. Let's take a value p is equal to half. Say at value p is equal to half, this will become gamma half. Then this is gamma p is half, right? So 1 minus half is also half. And put that value here as well. The pi stays pi. And sine p pi will become sine pi by 2. Now sine pi by 2, the value sine pi by 2 is just 1. And if you have gamma half, gamma half, that is gamma half square. I'll just write gamma half and I'll take a square root here. Is root pi. So gamma half is root pi. And you can use that value over here. And in exam you should do that. Whenever you get gamma half, you should write down as root pi. That's the standard value of gamma half. And that is can be obtained using this duplication formula. So remember duplication formula. Remember gamma half is equal to root pi. And see how we have solved this question. Now, if you look at this particular question, understand I could see that the limits are from 0 to infinity, which is perfect for gamma, the first formula in the lot. And then I have x raised to some power as well as e raised to minus x is not really perfectly matching. It has to match perfectly as I already told you. So when it is not matching perfectly in that particular case, I will replace that. Look, remember one point always that when you are solving integration, for integrals there are no u by v rules or u into v rules. All that doesn't exist. That's all there for differentiation though, but not for integrals. So when it is integration, the method to solve integration is substitution. You always substitute some suitable, you know, you do some, some suitable substitution so that you can simplify and get it. So I did the substitution and after substituting the value, you can see that I have got it in the exact beta form. So now this one here is the exact, I'm sorry, the gamma form, right? This one exactly matching to the gamma from 0 to infinity, yes, 0 to infinity, e to the power that I got whatever that variable raised to n minus or that I got. And now this value will simply becomes, that simply become gamma of 9 by 2. Please note that 9 by 2 is this value. I hope you really followed this whole question. Okay. If you have any doubts or any queries, you can post them in the comment section and I'll be more than happy to reply to that. And this is one of the question of beta gamma function. I will be solving few more questions so that you get some better understanding okay now in the next video we will take up one more question and and solve of chapter beta and gamma function all right thank you